Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, up, Pisces. It's Dana. What is shaking, Pisces? How's the water feeling out there? Huh? Is it nice and calm, or is it, or is it uh, choppy and cold, Pisces? Huh? What's what's going on with y'all these days? It is torrential downpour here today, so you'll probably be able to hear some of that rain in the background. But it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a it's a warm, balmy, rainy spring day and I love it. So let's do a reading for Pisces. I know I've been MIA for a minute. I've had a lot of stuff going on in my life, Pisces. So here I'm back. I'm back and I'm uh, back to the regular stuff that it is that we do here, Pisces. So let's throw some cards for you and see what they have to say. All right. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Snuggle up to this table. We're going to talk about some things. It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out a whole bunch of cards. I'm going to confuse the heck out of you while I sew together a story. If you're coming back to the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. All y'all subscribe, okay? It helps me, helps helps everything. It just helps everything if you'll just subscribe. You don't have to hit the dinghy bell if you don't want me blowing you up, but I'm not here very often, so you might want to hit that dinghy bell so you know when I am coming around. Let's do this, Pisces. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Spirit, Source, universal energy. I have the collective of Pisces here with me, Spirit, and they want to know what you know. What do you know about Pisces and what does Pisces need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards Pisces? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their lives for their very best and highest good. What's the path? What's the purpose? What's the direction? Please give me the eyes to see it. Ooh, right there. The ears to hear it and the words to explain it. All right, let's do it. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the chariot in reverse. The Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Alchemist, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. That's going to make hella sense to you in just a second. First card out, the Four of Cups in reverse. Some kind of apathy, emotional apathy. Ooh, the Tower. All right. Ignoring something, perhaps. The Tower, the Ace of Wands, some kind of new start, new beginning, the world, the closure of an old cycle, the beginning of a new cycle. Fantastic. The Ten of Cups in reverse, emotional dissatisfaction, upset in the home or the family. The Eight of Cups in reverse, emotionally hopeless. The Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, and the Wheel of Fortune in the center of the reading. Fabulous. Some kind of turning point. The Ten of Swords in Reverse, some kind of new mindset, and the Emperor. Interesting. We have the King of Swords in Reverse, salty, angry, bitter, abusive. The Seven of Swords in Reverse, breaking free from some futile mentality. The Queen of Swords, pulling it together in the mind. The Four of Pentacles in Reverse, a lot like that Four of Cups in Reverse. It's a self-protection mode. Two of Swords at a Crossroads, the Ace of Swords in Reverse, not seeing something clearly, the Nine of Cups to the Star, to the King of Pentacles, and Death in Reverse. Look at that. And then the Nine of Wands to Judgment. It's all up to you. The Hermit, fantastic. And look at that, the two of wands in reverse to the high priestess in reverse, right? You can't build your future unhealed. And then the six of wands, success, the four of swords pulling it together, and the lovers, absolutely freaking fantastic. And look at that, 
the Five of Cups to the Two of Cups and the King of Wands. Absolutely fantastic. Let's see what else is coming. We're going to take those as well. All right. All right. All right. Well, you know what? What do I see? Yeah, what you don't see coming. Look at that. The Empress in reverse to the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, that's where we'll stop, Pisces. All right, let's make some sense out of all of this. What is all this saying to us here? Well, the Wheel of Fortune in the center of the reading. Huge, gigantic turning point. Divinely orchestrated steps of your path. All right, Pisces, so this is what's going on right here for you, okay? But before I explain this to you, I want to say, check out my book. Who do you think you are? The ultimate guide to shed your skin and awaken your soul. If you are having a spiritual awakening and you need some guidance and some understanding and weird things are going on and you're beginning to see things from a different perspective and it all just doesn't make sense to you and you think you're going crazy, read my book. It will help you tremendously. All right, here we go. Here we go. So this is what's going on for you, Pisces, okay? This is what's happening. The Four of Cups in reverse, okay? This is a Pisces that is, it's the first card out. It sets the tone for everything. This is a Pisces that is emotionally apathetic, okay? They just really have lost some kind of hope in ever thoroughly and completely emotional, emotionally engaging again. What I see, what I feel when I see this card is a Pisces who is, is just disgusted um, with human beings, relationships, particularly because buzzkill, this reading is about a significant relationship, okay? But this particular Pisces is emotionally apathetic, okay? Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is a card about being disgusted. You see, the guy in this card, he's not mad. He's not angry. He's not kicking the cups over. He's not throwing a big fit. He's not arguing. He's just simply stepping away because he knows that what is here is not fulfilling. And he's searching for that nine of cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, which as this all connects together, you step into down at the bottom of this reading, okay? So an emotionally apathetic Pisces, eight of cups that is just disgusted with emotions, okay? And then, which is uh, which is uh, ironic, right? Because Pisces is all about the emotions, right? The Tower. This is what happened in this Four of Cups' life right here, okay? Perhaps one failed relationship after, after another. Perhaps one gigantic, huge disappointment, okay? But there was an implosion in Pisces' emotional life. Okay, that left them just disgusted about things. Okay, and I know that's a harsh word, but it's 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 the Eight of Cups, the Lovers in Reverse. Lovers in Reverse says, "Well, you know what? I'm going to hold this for just a second. So the Lovers in Reverse reiterates that this was some kind of love relationship that did not work out for you in the past, and now you're just all just blah about it." the Hierophant in reverse, okay? A commitment that was broken. It didn't work out. Pisces poured everything into it and it didn't work out. Hierophant in reverse. Hierophant in reverse is also saying to the Pisces that you need to listen, okay? The Hierophant back in the day is the person who would go into the sacred space, receive messages from the Most High, and then disseminate them to the people, okay? Obviously, well, that's a whole nother story, but this is you, right? You are fully capable of receiving messages from the Most High and disseminating them within yourself. You do not need a middleman 
uh, any kind of religious figure or institution at all to tell you what God is saying, okay? And by God, I don't mean to offend anybody because, you know, a lot of people don't believe in God. I personally don't believe in a big cozy guy up in the sky that cares about you, okay? I don't, but... But the forces that be that we all believe in or we wouldn't be here watching a tarot card reading right now, okay? So whatever it is that you call he, she, it, they, them, whatever it is for you, okay? You are fully capable of disseminating deep spiritual messages and direction for your life. Okay, but the Hierophant in reverse says you're not listening. Why aren't you listening? You're not listening because you, you're not interested in what source has to say. Okay, because you're like, ugh, it's just, ugh, I just don't even ever. I'm not ever, ever, ever. Look, the Queen of Wands in reverse, right? I'm not ever, ever, ever again. I, I gave it all, um, all once before and it didn't work out for me. Queen of Wands in reverse lacks confidence. She lacks self-worth. She lacks self-esteem. She lacks success. Okay, so this whole situation was very unsuccessful and it left you scarred and wounded in your psyche and in your emotions. The world in reverse, okay? You can't live like this. This cycle of your life needs to come to an end or it will perpetually continue, right? There is no other choice here. It either needs to come to an end or it will perpetually continue. And quite frankly, it's not healthy. It's not healthy to be like this, okay? Uh, the lovers in reverse, right? What's the problem? Well, obviously, this significant relationship in your life left you wounded and scarred and broken. The lovers in reverse, from a spiritual perspective, wants you to understand that as long as you are not vibing with the universe, the universe cannot vibe with you. Hierophant in reverse, not discerning. The world in reverse, not going forward. The lovers in reverse, your frequency because that's what the lover's card is. That's what love is, any kind of love. In the United States, or in, I guess I should say Western, right? We really only have like one or maybe two kind of definitions for love. But love is, it has endless capacity and endless definitions. So love is when your energy is over here and their energy is over here and the two of you come together and boom, alchemy. Something is created between your two energies that did not exist before, right? Alchemy, love. So what this is saying in the reverse is that you're, because you are consumed by this particular issue in your subconscious mind, you're not vibing on the same frequency as universal order. And universal order carries on with or without you. You can either grab a hold of the thread that you are in the tapestry of universal order, or you don't. If you do, you will be led and guided every single step of the way to the path of your best and highest good. But it's your responsibility to be cognizant and observant of the path that is laid before you, right? When you shoot off from universal order, you're just left on your own because they're not going to intervene in your free will. So your frequency is not vibing right with the universe. Lovers in reverse, the world in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse, right? And then temperance comes on top of all of this. Temperance is kind of like a big hug from the universe. And it says, temper yourself. Take a step back, okay? <sighs> Find some peace in your mind. Find some peace in your emotions. Find some peace in your thoughts. Find some peace in your inspirations, your desires, your spirituality, and find some peace in your sense of well-being. Take a breath and know that it is what it is, but it doesn't have to define 
the whole everything. This Eight of Cups right here is someone who is emotionally vacant. And also the Eight of Cups in reverse right below it right here. This is emotionally vacant. And that goes, it's counterproductive to Pisces nature. The Ace of Wands says there's something new trying to manifest into your life. There's, there's something, the universe has something, that thread of universal order has something that is important for the next phase of your life, Pisces, okay? Has something that's important for the next phase of your life, but you are off on your own over here and the universe wants you to be part of the tapestry of order right here this old cycle this woundedness that you have over here needs to come to an end so you can catch this thread so you can catch this spark so you can go into a new phase of your life to the knight of cups and be in a position where you are capable and viable of emotionally exchanging with someone, of being emotionally vulnerable with someone, okay? Okay, because what's going on in Pisces' head or emotions, I should say, and sense of well-being with the earth in my hand, right? What's going on inside of Pisces' head is that it can never be achieved. It can never be viable. It can never fully work because humanity is flawed, right? Everyone's flawed. And if you are awakening and if you are going through some kind of internal transformation, it's really discouraging because the people that are out there, um, a lot of the people that are out there are completely ignorant of all of this right? They don't understand their soul. They don't understand the never-ending linear perspective of existence, right? They think this human go-round is the only chance that they're going to get, and they live in this limited, boxed-in mentality. It's hard to find someone out there um, that is on the same frequency, right? Because we're surrounded by flesh and bone experiences, unmet expectations of the eight of pentacles in reverse just unmet expectations to the eight of cups in reverse and emotionally hopeless that is what the definition of this card is emotionally hopeless three of pentacles emotionally hopeless that you will ever be able to find someone that clicks with you that understands your desire to explore spirituality, that understands your need for someone to at least want to learn about it, right? And, and it's, it's so hard to find teamwork and collaboration, someone that you're on the same page with going in the same direction. And then the Eight of Swords in reverse says, to get the Three of Pentacles, there needs to be a new perspective. You need to untrap your mind. Look, untrap your mind. Come to terms with this disgust and apathy for, for relationships or romantic endeavors or being vulnerable and understand that the new perspective changes all of this into the upright. The new perspective of not being so disgruntled with emotional relationships, okay, turns all of this into the upright, closes down the cycle, creates a new cycle, discerning the direction that your soul is supposed to go, that your life is supposed to go for your best and highest good, the queen of wands, and doing something about it. To the lovers, vibing on the frequency of universal order. Why? Well, because that wheel of fortune is in the center of your reading right here. Because universal order is trying to play out in your life. Universal order is the path of your best and highest good, right? 
right? Two Pentacles says, see this, prioritize this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hold on a second. Yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. To the Wheel of Fortune in the center of the reading. Divine orchestration, good karma, turning points, movement forward, stability to judgment. But it all depends on you. You hold the power in this entire situation. You hold the power in all of your life, Pisces. Uh-huh. Judgment. What you believe about yourself and about life becomes your reality. And this particular person is believing that there is no hope to be emotionally connected or emotionally involved with someone ever again because of the tower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all about you. Draw a line in the sand and understand the fool. And this points you in a new direction. The fool is a leveling up of your spirituality. That's why it's zero. It's a leveling up of your spirituality. Every time you go through one of these major arcana lessons in your life, you learn, you're supposed to, you're supposed to learn something. If you don't learn something, the fool is going to be in reverse and saying, you fool, why are you living in the flesh and bone experience? Use your life as a, a venue for your soul to do and experience what it came here to do and experience right? So the fool is a leveling up of your spirituality. This guy doesn't know the who, what, when, where, why, or how. He has no agenda. He just feels compelled within himself to go in the direction that he is internally being guided to go, and he goes. And that's what they need you to do. They need you to free yourself from this so the path of your life can go in the direction of your best and highest good to the four of wands and bring you the stability, the, 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 the security, the safety that you want in a romantic relationship that should be in a romantic relationship. Look, but the Ten of Swords in reverse. You, it's your mindset. I'm telling you, Pisces, your mind creates your reality. Period. What you think about comes about. Maybe not instantly, sometimes. So, but but what, you, what, you, what you ruminate on your subconscious mind becomes your reality, okay? Ten of Swords in reverse talks about getting a new mindset. It's renewal. It's regeneration of a mindset that is rooted in pain and betrayal. The Hermit in reverse. This mindset has kept you in a place of, number one, being um, completely disconnected. Number two, not seeking not paying attention, remember the Hierophant in reverse, not paying attention to the soul signals that you're supposed to be paying attention to. Ace of Swords says, see very clearly, come on, come on, Pisces, come on, come on, let's go to death. That the old this needs to change so the new this can emerge into your life. It's death. Death is literally the expression of our energetic being. Mm -hmm. And the way that you are expressing your energetic being at the beginning of this reading was not vibing with universal order, right? Express your being in this transformation, King of Swords, that is going to, that is going to that's right. Okay. So this King of Swords is saying the delusion, the illusion of the Seven of Cups, Eight of Wands in reverse is holding you back, holding you back. What's the illusion? What's the delusion? This, this lack of emotional, this emotional hopelessness, right? The Emperor, this is what's trying to come into your life, Pisces. This person is trying to come into your life, but you have to release your limiting beliefs with the devil in reverse and detach from your own toxic self. Uh-huh. Yes, this emperor. See, the emperor 
to the Empress, which you are in the reverse and in the upright in the bottom of this reading, right? The Emperor is Lesson 4. The Empress is Lesson 3, okay? And um, Lesson 3. Three being the empress is composed of lesson one and two. Lesson one is the magician. You, what you think about comes about. Lesson two is the high priestess, your eternal soul trying to point you towards your true north. Lesson three, the empress, the dirt of all life because nothing can be grown without controlling your mind and listening to your soul. Lesson Four is the emperor. He comes in and he creates in the external world what the empress has created in the internal world. Mm -hmm. Because he understands lesson one and lesson two. Right? So this person that is trying to emerge in your life or that is going to be emerging in your life, Pisces, should you so choose to lift the veil and let it happen, is someone that understands um, you. You and your purpose and your thoughts and your feelings and your mission. And not only do they understand you, but they support you and they concur. Devil in reverse, but you got to release your limiting beliefs. The chariot in reverse, because the universe, cake it cannot come through until you clear it out and open the door. Okay, right? Okay. Ten of Swords, the mentality of betrayal, deception, it, it all sucks. The Three of Swords in your mind, Six of Swords in reverse. This is all of the mental bullshit that is in the way of this emperor emerging into your life. Okay? To the King of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Um, possibly somebody out there was with a crazy person. <laughs> Maybe that's what that tower is, right? Possibly um, some of you out there were with an abusive person. Possibly some of you out there were with a liar, um, a manipulator, right? The king of swords in reverse, he's not a nice guy. He's just not. Uh, male or female, okay? But it is a masculine. I mean, it's a dude in the picture, right? So... Right, this 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 King of Swords in reverse, he is not a nice a nice energy. And the Seven of Swords in reverse sometimes talks about mental problems. Okay, so maybe some of you were literally with a crazy person. Um, the Seven of Swords in Reverse is also about releasing a futile mentality, um, trying to get away with something. What are you trying to get away with? Well, never allowing yourself to be emotionally vulnerable again, right? And then the Three of Pentacles comes on top of it and says, to get teamwork and collaboration, you must... Queen of Swords. You must, you must, you must get your mind in the game and and see what's holding you back. Four of Pentacles in reverse and see that you are trying to protect yourself. Yes, trying to protect yourself. Page of Pentacles in reverse, but nothing can grow here. Nothing can grow. Seven of Wands when you are not dealing with the issue. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The seeds of your life just keep rolling off and it just keeps adding to the disappointment, right? Going out, dating people or talking to people and just being disgusted at the quality of human being that is available out there. And But, but you keep doing it or you keep dating someone that you know is not it. I mean, you know they're not the one, but you're dating them anyway because it's, uh, you know, it's entertaining, right? That is all blocking the real deal. Okay? Queen of Cups, this is you. This is you. To the King of Pentacles, this is you and this is the Emperor right here. You and the Emperor. The Three of Cups, Okay, getting together, being in the right place at the right time, getting an invitation, going to a get together, going to a party, going to some kind of event or, or get together of some sort. That is where this person is going to be. But you have to allow the universe to divinely orchestrate the steps of your path in order for it to come together. And it can't come together because you're blocking it up here with this apathy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look, Knight of Swords. 
communication, serious to the point communication. You go, you're going to meet this person and you're going to have an immediate conversation about the things that inspire you about the things that inspire you, about the things that are important to you, about the things that make you tick, about the things that are intellectually stimulating to you, to both of you, right? Seriously, this person is going to tick all the boxes. And there's the empress, the empress to the emperor. Your person is going to just gel with you two of swords and it's going to completely freak you out it's going to completely freak you out pisces two of swords in reverse that's why it's going to completely freak you out and look the nine of swords anxiety despair oh my god this person has checked a place in me that i have not touched in a long 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 time the Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, everything you ever wanted, emotional fulfillment, the star, your path, your purpose, your destiny, the king of pentacles, the person that you want to create stability with and success with, death in reverse, a massive internal transformation has taken place Throughout this reading and throughout, you know, the days of your life, Pisces, right? And if you will so choose to understand this and do something about this, this will get manifested into your life. Why? The nine of wands, resilience and persistence. You did something about it. Judgment. You made some decisions that needed to be made in the hermit and you, you tapped in to your soul's understanding. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands in reverse, and you realize, High Priestess in reverse, to the Six of Wands, that success can't be had in an unhealed manner to the lovers. And oops, look, to the Four of Swords, right? And you came to terms with your bullshit that was at the first of this reading, brought stability to your mindset. This whole reading is about your mindset to the lovers. And now you're jiving and vibing with the universe, Vibing and jiving with the universe, frequency overload. In all of this, this wheel of fortune starts to turn right here, right? It starts to turn, starts to turn, and all of this goes boom, 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 boom. In your life, two of cups. Uh huh. Yeah, I said that. Two of cups. King of Wands, lots of passion, lots of excitement, lots of things in common, doing lots of things together. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Look, look, five of wands in reverse. Stop avoiding the responsibility, the devil, of dealing with your flesh experience in a human boxed in state of mind. The de the moon in reverse. Come to terms. Come to terms with the truth of the situation and just let's let's clean house a little bit right here and get things straight and orderly seven of wands in reverse stop avoiding shit three of swords in reverse come to terms with it to the fool and level up in your belief and in your spirituality and go in the direction that you are being compelled to go into a direction of healing and a new beginning a new journey a new cycle of your life pisces yes 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 three wands in reverse don't let the old shit stand in the way the empress in reverse creative block with the universe the old shit's gonna be the creative block with the universe the four of wands to the nine of wands but if you will stand in your power pisces and know your worth and understand everything that was just said to you bring it all to a culmination bottom of the deck the six of swords leave the mental baggage the mental bullshit behind you Ace of Pentacles and grow some new fruit in your life to the alchemist. The universe says it's a blank slate. It's an open door. You have the power to create any kind of life that you want for yourself. Yes, you do. The, the alchemist, the magician is in control of all four elements that make up the human nature. Uh huh. His mind starts everything, right? It's a thought that comes into the mind and it's followed by the inspiration of the fire right there, right? 
The mind creates manifestation. The fire comes right behind it and fuels its desire. The emotions get invested and then the earth energy is the sense of well-being that is just, it, it makes the foursome right there, right? Earth, water, air, and fire. The magician knows how to control those aspects of the human nature and because of that, he can create alchemy out of anything. All he needs to do is draw universal order towards it and boom, and boom. Yep, yep, yep. Seven of Cups, the chariot in reverse. Exact same Seven of Cups and chariot that in reverse that was over here. The exact same cards um, saying to you that we can't go forward until you pull your shit together with the seven of cups and then the six of pentacles, the giving, the receiving and the sharing of prosperity in life with another. That's what your future is with someone that gets you and you get them and you have a shit ton of things in common with each other and you just go into the future enjoying the journey. Wow, Pisces, that's awesome. I hope that helps someone. Hey, you want your cards read? Hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org and make sure you check out my book if you need some guidance in your life as far as all of this spiritual craziness goes, okay? Namaste. Who do you think you are and why? Despite what you have been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will dissect the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose with self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free.